guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are doing a Lush haul and I've never done one of these before but I really enjoy watching these videos. So basically I went to my local Lush store because I don't know if this has happened all over the world or if it's just happened in Australia, I highly doubt that but we got a really really early release of all of the new limited edition Christmas Lush bath stuff. So basically, Lush have bought out a whole new range of limited edition stuff. For the past few years, they've kind of been redoing the same Halloween and Christmas things with a couple of new ones. But like this year, they've gone all out. They've got completely new limited edition stock. And I wasn't going to wait until November to try and get my hands on them because they would have sold out. And so basically... I knew that my Lush got it in on Thursday, so I went in there and I literally picked up all that I could get my hands on without breaking the bank, and I did spend a lot. Normally I wouldn't spend so excessively in one go, but I just really wanted to try all of the new ones, and I figured it would last me through till the end of the year, and I've also got my birthday and Christmas in December. So if I run out, if I happen to use all of them, I can just get more um, in December. But I figured with the amount that I've got, it'll last me and I won't need to go back and repurchase more things. And this way I get to try all of the new stuff and I get to show you guys in one really awesome video. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. So firstly, I bought everything in my own bag because... Even though Lush use paper bags, if you can save a bag, you can save a bag. So always carry your own bag. Okay, so I have the website open just so I can give you an accurate description of what each one is and what it does and what it smells like because I just, it's really hard to explain scents, I feel. So I might start off with all the Halloween stuff since that's uh, coming up sooner and then I'll go on to the Christmas stuff next. There's actually a lot from the Christmas range that I didn't get. I was very selective about the ones that I purchased only because I had already got a lot and I really didn't want to overdo it. Even though I kind of did, I was like, I just, there were so many that I could have gotten but I didn't. Have a look on their website, they've got all of them on there um, if you're interested in the other ones that I didn't purchase but I had to have some self-control. I'm actually just looking at the website now and there's actually so many that they didn't even have when I was there, which means they'd already sold out of all the stuff even though they got it that day, so crazy. I didn't get too much from the Halloween stuff only because a lot of it was black and I mean it sounds cool in theory but I feel like black in the white bath I don't know I just wasn't feeling buying any of the black stuff but they do have some really cute black stuff if you're interested in having a black bath I'm just gonna say this now that all of these are vegan and cruelty free Lush is a great brand um, if those are things that you care about when you're buying your shower and bath products not all of their stuff is vegan uh, it is all cruelty free though uh, there are some products that have things like honey um, or egg but they all specifically say vegan on the labels so you will never be confused but I'm gonna start off with this guy it's called monsters ball let me just open it it's stuck I can't even get it out of the bag oh this is dangerous because of the color I'm on white bed bedding. This was not... I didn't think this through. So this is Monster's Ball. So this is this cute little monster man with a gigantic eyeball. So Monster Ball has a mashup of lime and neroli oils. Is quite like fresh and like a little bit spicy. So I guess... I wouldn't say it smells like lime, but... Oh, smells good though. <laughs> so this one is just a bath bomb. So this one you just pop in and it fizzes and makes your bath really beautiful and colourful. Uh, this one's like a hot pink and blue. So I'm assuming that the water would go kind of like a pinky purple. But that one is super cute. So this is the only thing I got that I've had before. But I just couldn't resist. Um, and if you know me well enough, 
you know that this is so up my street. But this is the sparkling pumpkin. So this one is super festive, very Halloween. Um, it is an orange bubble bar with gold glitter and a little bit of paper in the top that looks like a stalk. Um, and so this one you just crumble under running water and it creates really nice bubbles. This one smells amazing. So this has lime oil, juniper berry oil, grapefruit oil. But to me it's kind of like a spicy sort of... Like it smells like there's like cinnamon or something in it. Oh, it smells so good! Uh, yeah, this is the only one I've used before and like how could I not repurchase this? Like it's freaking adorable and... It smells so good! Oh! Actually, that's not even paper. That's like, that is a cinnamon quill on the top. So ignore what I said before. It's a cinnamon, like, quill that's sort of been shoved in the top there. So cute! So next I got this, which is actually like a gift box set. Um, it's called The Little Pumpkin and it's so freaking cute. I die. Uh, this is it. So it is like orange with a little jack-o'-lantern face on it. Uh, the only thing is the string comes out the wrong way, which really, really irritates me. Like, that really, really irritates. Why is the string not coming out the top so it hangs like a cute little bauble? I don't know. Anyway, so I don't, I'm just gonna have to peel the sticky tape off to open this up. But basically, I got this because the store had actually run out of the, um, pumpkin bath bomb that I wanted and it's in this box so I thought I would just get the box because it came with one of the other Halloween um, bubble bars and I was like all right I'll just get them in this cute little pumpkin box that I can keep forever and I love it so this one is the pumpkin king pumpkin bath bomb basically looks just like this. So it's just an orange bath bomb with this really cute jack-o'-lantern face on. As you can see, mine's a little bit cracked, but this one has pimento berry oil and vanilla absolute. Ooh, it's a really different scent to what I thought it would be. I thought it would be like spicy and pumpkin-y, but it's kind of like burnt <laughs> berries, <laughs> so I can smell that pimento berry oil, but then it kind of has this like burnt <laughs> smell. <laughs> I know that sounds really bad, but like kind of picture like firewood smell with berries. Mmm, <laughs> that's really different. I, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I feel like I wanted this one so badly. And I couldn't smell it because it was in the box. Um, it's got cinnamon bark oil. Oh, maybe that's what it is. The cinnamon bark. Maybe the bark is like the woodiness that I'm getting. Um, it's quite nice though, but it's just different. Like it's really different to anything I've ever smelt from Lush before. Then we have the other thing that came in the gift set, um, which may look awfully familiar. And it is the pink pumpkin. <laughs> so this is basically the same thing as the last one, except it's pink. And it has like sort of pink iridescent glitter on it. And this again is just another bath, a bubble bath, sorry. And you just crumble this under running water and it makes your bubbles go nice and pink and fluffy. So this one has the scent, um... Bergamot oil, geranium oil, and jasmine absolute. And I feel like this is kind of the Australian equivalent because um, I'm assuming most people would know that Australians are in spring. We're in spring right now and this is a very spring scent. Very like floral and um, pink. <laughs> so it kind of suits our seasons better. Um, Obviously, I love the spicy woody scents. They're probably my favorite scents just in general. 
but going into this season this will be nice um, for a sort of fresh spring bubbles okay so moving on to the Christmas stuff okay so this first one's called never mind the ballistics um, it is a bath bomb so this one's a really fruity um, Christmas limited edition one. It doesn't look Christmassy at all. Again, this kind of suits Australian seasons better as we are going into summer over Christmas, not winter. Uh, so it looks like this and it basically has like a bath melt sort of on the top and then the rest of it is a bath bomb. Um, so I'm assuming when you put it in it sort of melts as well as fizzes. This one smells honestly, it smells like bubble gum or like tutti frutti <laughs> um, it says it has sweet wild orange oil fresh banana muru muru butter and lime oil um, so this just smells like summer in a bath bomb like a really tropical tutti frutti bubble gummy sweet sugary kind of fruit <laughs> scent that's actually really nice. It reminds me of bubble gum though. So, um, but I don't really like the really, really, really sweet scents normally, but I really actually like this one. And it's super good for your skin because it's got the bath melt on top as well. Um, but they're really hard to hold on to, so don't touch the bath melt side if you're in the store. So the next one we have is called Thunder Snow. And this is the one that the lady in the store said was one of their best sellers. It looks like this. So this one is sort of similar to the frozen bath bomb or the like um, other blue one, the ocean one, um, in colour. It's kind of got that, yeah, like turquoisey blue um, with mint bluey green running through. So it makes your bath this like amazing aqua blue ocean colour. So I feel like this could go well either way if, it, if you're going into winter or if you're going into summer because I think that um, blue is quite uh, universal. <laughs> so this one is a cooling and invigorating bath bomb. So it has peppermint oil and apparently it has popping candy in it. So it must fizz and pop when you put it into the bath, which is very, very cool. So the next one that we have I find really funny and I laughed out loud in the shop when I saw it, so I felt like I had to get it just because it was really cute. It's called My Two Front Teeth. It's like the song, all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. And it looks like this. <laughs> so it's just like this mouth with these two giant buck teeth on the front of it. So this is a bubble bar and it has lavender and vanilla oil as well as tonka absolute and neroli oil. Um, you can really smell the lavender in this one. It's a super 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 nice one for you know relaxing in the bath. I think um, you know lavender is meant to be really good for sleeping and oh it smells so good. It's like if you've had a really rough day, I would use this and you will have the best sleep of your life. And it would also make your bubbles a really pretty purple colour. So the next thing I got, I've actually never got one of these before um, from Lush. I don't think I have anyway. And it's a bath melt or a bath oil, sorry. So it's called Tree D instead of 3D, but it is... 3D. I can't hold this one for too long, but here it- how cute is this? Oh my god! So it's like a 3D tree. A 3D tree. Huh. It says- I'll read the description on the website. It says, Tree D quietly melts away as it gently transforms the water into a softening pool of almond oil and fair trade organic cocoa butter. Delicate scents of tangerine and grapefruit float by on the breeze whilst Litsy Cubeba oil <laughs> restores you to your natural state. Um, so yes, this one has organic cocoa butter, grapefruit oil, tangerine oil, almond oil. So it's super, super nourishing for your skin. Um, assuming it makes the bath go a pretty green color. Um, so super festive and you can pull it apart. So it like breaks off into sort of two pieces and then they like jigsaw back together. Um, so I'm assuming that 
you don't have to use one whole piece in one go. If you want to ration it out, you could um, maybe break it into quarters and just like put quarters, um, one quarter in per bath. And that one would just be really, really lovely and like smells really fresh and really um, nourishing and nice. So a lot of you would be familiar with Snow Fairy, which is their Christmas a limited edition scent which they do in a body wash and they also have I think like a the the star that pink star on a stick I think is scented with the snow fairy scent otherwise it's the rock star scent which is very similar it's like the candy mountain scent as well um, so this is the first time they've ever done a bath bomb in the snow fairy scent but this isn't just a regular old bath bomb no sir this is a jelly bomb it says sail away on a bubblegum sea in a boat made of candy floss and fairy dust get in the bath and cast this jelly bomb into the water watching as clouds of skin softening jelly swirl around you like enchanting snow drifts I don't understand how it's jelly. I'm watching a video. <laughs> I don't know if it actually makes your bath turn into jelly. Like, I'm really, really interested to try this. Like, you know the jelly bath stuff? And it makes the water all, like, thick, like jelly. I don't know if that's what this is. Um, so... I'm super interested to give this one a go. But if you're not familiar with the Snow Fairy scent, kind of just smells like... musky, candy sweet deliciousness mm. so yeah super interested to give this one a go and see if my bath turns to jelly and last but m by no means least I saw this one and I pretty much died and went to heaven when I saw it because I am like the biggest Christmas fanatic ever and yes I'm excited for Christmas and it's October but whatever it's not that far away really like, I start decorating in November, so it's really, like, you know, not that far away. But basically, this one is called Christmas Sweater. How friggin' cute is this? It's got little, I was holding it upside down, but it's got a little um, reindeer on it, and it's like that sort of dorky Christmas sweater type print on this red bath bomb. And I just thought this was so cute. Oh my god. This is like that classic Christmas scent. It's super sort of spicy and... Oh, let me read out the description. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your Christmas jumpers and socks and jump in the steamy bath. Sicilian lemon with mustard and ginger powders will ease muscles and warm your soul. Coriander seed and clove bud oils are sure to spice up your life. I don't know what that says. Um, oh my god, that's why I like it so much. I didn't realize it had that many spices in it. It's got ginger powder, clove bud oil, coriander seed, mustard powder, lemon oil. Wow, super spicy. And it's like, oh, it smells so good. This one is for all of you Christmas lovers who love a good cinnamony, spicy scent. This one is amazing. Uh, this would go really well with the pumpkin bubble bar, I feel, um, if you're making some sort of Christmas cocktail in your bath. This one reminds me a lot of Cinders. If any of you have used Cinders before, it's the yellow one with the like popping candy rocks or whatever on top. It smells like cinnamon. Um, similar kind of ballpark to that. Quite spicy, but super delicious. Okay, so that's everything. I didn't go too overboard, although some of you might disagree um, because there was so much more I could have tried. And the other thing I was going to get, which I'm just going to tell you about it because it smells amazing and you need to go and smell it and I think I might ask for it for my birthday, but it's basically called salt and pepper mint bark and basically it's like a um, green and red scrub bar so you rub it on your skin and basically it like exfoliates your skin and it smells like the most delicious 
crushed up candy cane peppermint smell you've ever smelled in your life so go and smell that in the store and um, smell all the things that I've talked about in this video and if you're interested head on over to your Lush shop and I'm sure that they will have some if not all of those things um, but you need to get in quick if you want the limited edition stuff because it does sell out especially the Halloween stuff because that's only gonna be around for another three weeks and then they'll be gone um, I don't know what they're doing with the Christmas stuff. I don't know how it works, but it's here early, so get it while you can. And uh, if they still have it around Christmas time, then you are one lucky human being because most places in Australia sell out very quickly. I hope you've had a lovely day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you are new to my channel, I post videos usually once a week, but I've been away. So I'm just getting back into the groove. I'm going to be doing heaps of um, festive videos in the upcoming months. So if you're into those kinds of videos, definitely subscribe. And that's all I have to say for now. I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye. P.S. I hope you enjoy my little Halloween-y background I've got going on. Yes, I am excessive. Yes, I am extra. Do I care? Does it make me happy? <laughs> you can't even really see, but like these lights here, these little like um, cobwebs are actually purple, but it's just too bright and I thought you'd be able to see them, but you can't. Can you see them now? I can fly.